Greetings folks, Jeremy Adrian here. Welcome back to the channel for a brief midweek news drop. Let's get straight to the news, beginning with Amazon's New World MMO. This week, there's a new developer diary out and we got to learn more about settlements. Unfortunately, it's not a video, but a blog post. So I'll just summarize the key points for you. The world of Eternum is divided into distinct territories and many of them have their own settlements and forts. Settlements are where players live, craft, work on town projects, revive if they die, and it's also where they can support their faction through missions. Settlements and forts are very much one of the core forms of content in New World's PvP and PvE, because to claim them, companies will need to fight for them, and after can dabble into the good stuff like leveling it up, upgrading it through town projects, and playing politics with roles of governor and consul available to the settlements company that owns it. All of this sounds interesting for an MMO like this, so for a deeper dive, check out the post in the pinned comment, and let's hope for more video dev diaries in the coming weeks. For World of Warcraft fans, if you're done messing around in the Nihilotha raid and the recent patch, and you want something to look forward to, hey, how about a new World of Warcraft novel that bridges the story leading into the upcoming Shadowlands expansion this year? Well, Shadows Rising has been announced, written by Madeline Rowe, and I hope I pronounced that right, and it will be the official prequel novel for the expansion. The book and audiobook will dive into stories following Sylvanas' betrayal and efforts to find out what she's up to featuring her sister. There's also updates to the Horde and Alliance and a lot more, which sounds like a decent title to have in your collection. I'm a big fan of the novels and I have them all. And from experience, they do enhance the lore and backstories, leading into a major patch, like how Before the Storm did it for me with BFA. Next up, Star Wars The Old Republic players who are waiting for update 6.1, Pinnacles of Power. You'll have to wait a little longer because Bioware has postponed its release. Posted on the official forums, 6.1, which was supposed to go live on the 11th, was delayed due to a last-minute issue with the patch, which means the maintenance has also been cancelled pending a new release date. At time of recording this, we still don't have a new date, so hang on tight. If you need a reminder about what Update 6.1 is all about, well, it has a new story content for both factions and comes with that shiny new Alderaan stronghold as well. If you play Black Desert Online, you'll probably remember the Shadow Arena, a 40-player battle royale that made its way as a separate game mode in-game between late 2018 to April 2019. Well, this week, Prolibus is bringing the Shadow Arena back as a standalone game, and everyone is invited to take part in the closed beta, which begins on the 27th of February. You will need to sign up on the official website to take part. The press release goes on to say that Shadow Arena is looking to launch in the first half of 2020 and nothing major has changed from when we first got to play it in BDO over a year ago, so hopefully there won't be any hacking issues this time around. If you haven't heard of the Shadow Arena, you can watch my review of it linked in the card above or down below. Now sticking with and related to the BDO franchise, its publishers, Kakao Games, be flexing their financial muscle this week, and reports from the region say that they have acquired the majority share in XL Games, who are the developers of Arc Age, another South Korean Sandpark MMO that was once seen as an equal rival by the MMO community to BDO. Now, this isn't the case of buying out the competition, as Kakao has worked with Axel Games in the past to publish titles like Arc Age Walk and Moonlight Sculptor, and analysts are seeing this as more of a portfolio bulking for Kakao. The good news is, Axel Games will probably have more resources and expertise for their games. Elsewhere, Visionary Realms, the studio behind upcoming classic MMORPG Pantheon, has some good news for you MMORPG folks and backers. The devs will be hosting a live stream on the 18th of February, which features the making and a tour of the Farthale, or Farthal, the game's most stunning zone to date according to them. And players will get a look at the sites and a bit of the content as well. In a recent newsletter this month, Visionary Realms have also laid out some patch notes for Pantheon in the near future, with updates and improvements to things like the client, pathfinding, combat, and more. Moving on, there's about a dozen updates this week about MMORPGs and their Valentine's Day events, but the one I'm highlighting here belongs to Funcom's Secret World Legends. They have announced their event titled A Bouquet of Rosenbrawl, which begins today and ends on the 19th. And holy shit, there's actually new content in the form of an investigation mission. The first one since its South Africa update almost two freaking years ago. The mission will have a boss encounter at the end that scales to any level, difficulty, and group size, and it also drops loot and some unique rewards like consumables and a pet. Additionally, there's two new emotes to earn while the event is live, so if you play Secret Role Legends or you're just dying for new content, well I guess it's a good time to go back and check it out. 
Remember All Odds Online? You probably do. And the MMORPG has some big news for players in the form of its upcoming update 11.0, The Soul of Darkness. The update will have a major focus on a game storyline picking up from the previous one in 8.0 after the Imperial research ship Infinity makes an unusual discovery that a demon army is coming our way. So you will need to assemble your own army to stop them. This clash will take you back to the old Allods, with developers hinting at a huge final battle that'll take up to 40 minutes to complete and has four different bosses. Soul of Darkness also contains updates to strongholds, artifacts, equipment, and professions, so be sure to check out the preview announcement I've linked below. Upcoming 2.5D grimdark MMO Mad World has released its latest developer diary, and the topic this week is the game's patch system. Mad World will have a pad system in place and according to them, it will feel like you're raising and training the real thing. Each pad in the MMO comes with one of several base personalities as a cub and they can be trained at a stable master to tweak its skill sets. So if you spend more time on combat training, it gets more aggressive. Training also affects its appearance so it's no telling what your little wolf or others might end up looking like. It's not going to be that simple either, as you will need to look after its hunger and thirst, which increases its loyalty towards you. And that's crucial if you don't want it to go AFK during combat when you call it. I'll post a dev diary down in the pinned comment. Last but not least in the not so MMORPG section, we've got expansion news from The Division 2, and this one I'm excited for. The new expansion titled Warlords of New York will take us agents back to the state of where it all started to take down Aaron Keener and his rogue agent lieutenants. Available for pre-order right now at 30 bucks for base game owners, the expansion which arrives on March 3rd comes with a new max level cap of 40, the lower Manhattan map expansion, 13 new missions, two factions both revamped from the first game, an overhaul to gearing, the introduction of seasons and a battle pass system, new difficulty tiers, and a whole lot more. Also known as Title Update 8, this will probably wrap up some story threads that started way back in Division 1, so if you're a fan of the franchise and you do play the game, get ready. And that's it for now folks, if there's news for a game you play which isn't covered here or have news tips to share, do so down in the comments with the rest of us and you'll probably see it in this weekend's news drop. Hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel, it's free and that bell icon notifies you whenever a new video is up. Once again, I'm Jerem Adrian, and I thank you for watching.